Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from cgcookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and in spirit of the upcoming holiday of Halloween we're going to be spending the next few weeks looking at creating some some spooky elements and this time we're going to be looking at modeling a pumpkin uh, just for the fun of it and then we will follow this up with a texturing the pumpkin and along with some other Halloween themed tutorials just for the month of October. And so to get started, what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to delete my default cube by just hitting X, delete selected, and from the top view, I'm going to hit spacebar, add mesh, UV sphere. And we're going to put in how about 12 segments and 12 rings. Should be enough. And then we're immediately going to go into edit mode, and we're going to delete or select in wireframe mode with box select this half and this half. And so we'll just hit X and delete vertices, being sure to leave the central ones. The reason being is that then we'll now go over to the edit buttons and pull over our modifiers tab, add a modifier and mirror. And now we want to also check the, the Y axis such that we're mirroring along the X and the Y. And this really is just going to save us time in creating the ridges for the pumpkin rather than having to work on multiple sides and adding in multiple ridges we'll just work on one quarter of it. If you wanted, you could even go ahead and delete the bottom half and mirror along the z-axis, but that might be a little overkill. And so, what we're going to do at this point is let's just go into front view, and we're going to select everything, and let's just hit, hit S and Z to scale it down, just give it a little more of a pumpkin shape. And then, so right now, it's still a little too roundish, so we'll maybe select, hold it down Alt and right, Alt, Shift, right click select maybe these middle four loops and let's turn on our proportional editing tool with O just leave it with the default settings and hit S and Z to scale and just kind of round it up a little bit and that just kind of flattens it out to add a little more shape to the pumpkin okay now let's go ahead and we're gonna add a subsurf modifier just to smooth the pumpkin out and we can go ahead and turn our levels up to 2 turn on optimal draw and then hit set smooth. There we are. So now we have a nice smooth pumpkin. Now I'm actually going to get, turn off the cage editing during edit mode just so we can see what we're working with. And let's go ahead and add a ridge to each of these. And so perhaps let's just select how about we'll add in a loop here, scale it, or turn off our proportional editing tool, and then we want to scale towards the cursor. And so we're going to hit period and make sure our cursor is centered by hitting shift C and then we can just scale down a little bit and that'll immediately start to take effect. Okay, let's maybe do the same thing over here and over here. So it's just control R, middle click and you can see how it's starting to take effect. But currently this, you know, these ridges aren't looking so good. We need to add a little more thickness here so it's more of a crease rather than, you know, kind of lumpy. And so we're going to go ahead and just add another loop. We can scale that out. Add another loop there. Scale that out. Okay. We'll maybe slide this over by hitting Control E. You know, just until it starts to look better. So we'll do the same thing here. Maybe slide it over. Scale up. Slide over. Scale up. And nothing has to be exact. You know, no pumpkin is exactly the same or exactly symmetrical. And right now, we're not worried about this top portion here. We're just worried about the ridges, which right now are maybe perhaps a little too pronounced. And so we can maybe select some portions, scale them in a little, you know, just add some variety. You'll notice that I'm being sure not to scale in the center vertice. Okay, we're going to leave that as is. And now what we want to do, you'll see that I modified the center one by accident. And so we'll just pull that in. And you'll notice since we've got our, our do clipping turned on, it just locks directly to the center there. Now we're going to go ahead and leave edit mode and apply our mirror modifier. So now we have one solid mesh. And let's turn on or go to wireframe mode and select this whole top portion and hit W smooth a couple of times. That'll help get rid of some of these, or a couple times being you know, 20 or whatnot. 
and that'll help get rid of some of these sharp creases. Now we're also going to select the central vertice. Let's hit X, delete vertices, just on the top one here, because this is going to be the stem. And let's also go ahead and look at merging some of these. We don't need near this many, and honestly, it's going to be hard to get a nice smooth mesh with this many vertices in here. So look at each one of the creases and just select those three vertices and hit W, merge at center. And we'll just do that for each of these. If I can select the right ones. So we'll just do it on each of these real quickly. Since Blender saves our menu location, we can do this quite, quite quickly. There we are. And then what we can do is we want to get rid of those triangles. And so let's just go into side view or front view. In wireframe mode, hit B for box select, select this top portion, and then hit Shift J. And that'll convert all of those over to quads. The reason that I didn't just select everything is I don't want to merge these into quads down here as that would potentially cause some problems. Okay, so that's looking good. And so now let's go ahead and just select this loop here. And we're gonna hit E to extrude, hit comma to scale away from the curve, or so it's scaled towards individual center. And then let's just scale it down and we're gonna take it in to kind of create the stem area. We'll smooth it out a bit more. Scale it in. There we are. Let me take it. Take in one more level by extruding. And then we can go ahead and create our stem from this. And what I'm gonna do is we wanna keep these as separate objects so that we don't need to worry about them. And so what I'm gonna do is just select this loop, hit Shift D, right click, and then hit P to separate. So now we're gonna leave edit mode, select that new loop, hit Tab D on edit mode, scale it up. And so now we just have it sitting on top of it. Now for the stem, is we're going to create this pretty simply. We're just going to hit E to extrude, take it up along the z-axis, scale it out, and maybe we'll hit E to extrude again. And we want to create this nice ridge that you see on pumpkin stems. And so I'm just hitting E to extrude and doing that multiple times. We want this to sit just above the surface. And so you can see I've added in a couple extra loops to add in some creases there. And then we'll take this in and we want to give it a nice kind of curved stem. But first we're just going to take it up, scale down, maybe smooth a few times. And then we'll take it up again, maybe scale out, add a bit of a cap to it. And maybe take that last center bit in and then hit W and merge at center. Now just take it all into one central point. Okay, there we are. So now we can go ahead and select everything, hit W and set smooth, control N to recalculate the normals. And then what we wanna do is add the, the creases along the stem as well. And so let's just go in and we're gonna go into edge mode and let's just select some of these edges. We'll maybe turn off our subsurf modifier for the time being so it's more clear. And we're not gonna select we're gonna select them, you know, a little bit at random to add a little variety to it. So some of these ridges will be thicker than others. Some of them will be thinner. Some of them maybe won't go all the way up. You know, just we want we want a nice bit of variety. Maybe do one more right in here all the way. And then what we're gonna do is we wanna hit Shift C to bring it in towards the cursor. And actually, I'm gonna leave edit mode and hit center new down here with our object select. And what that does is recenters the the median point. And then we can hit Shift S and cursor to selection because now my cursor is in the center of the stem versus the center of the pumpkin. So that's when I hit period on my keyboard to set the scaling to the cursor and then scale down, they scale towards that. Now, one problem that we have currently is that they're scaling along the z-axis. We don't want that because it's causing the shrinking here. And so we can hit S and then Shift-Z and that will exclude the z-axis. 
and that very easily just forms those nice ridges like so. We can then very easily create some nice style to the pumpkin stem by twisting it. And this can be done either with a modifier or by hand. In this case, we're going to use a lattice modifier. And so let's go leave object mode, or leave edit mode, hit spacebar, add a lattice. We'll scale it down to the height of the pumpkin stem, and also scale it by hitting shift Z along the X and the Y axis to fit the stem nicely like, like so. And then let's increase the, the V subdivisions maybe three times. That looks good. You know, we just want enough to work with. So now we can reselect our stem and add in a new modifier. In this case, we want lattice. And then under the object field, we'll type in the name of the lattice, which in this case, since we just have a single one, it's just called lattice. So we can hit LAT tab and hit enter to auto complete. And then we can simply go in and go to edit mode, rotate this around, rotate these, add some nice twist to it. Maybe add some curve, scale it up if we want. And so we can really play with it however we, however we want. You know, lattices are a lot of fun to play with and really let you really control your mesh without ever distorting the actual mesh. You know, if I were to distort this by hand and then I wanted to say, go in and change the general form as a whole, it would be a lot tougher to do so. But since I've used a lattice, we can do that very, very easily. And so you can see, just like that, we've already got a pretty complete pumpkin. But we're going to do basically the same thing we did on the top as we did on the bottom. Or we're going to do the same thing on the bottom that we did on the top. And so we want to go ahead and first uh, delete this central vertice. And then we're going to go through and merge each of these. Just like so. They're nice and quick. Apologies for the repetition. Okay, and then from our front view, we can use our box select to select the whole bottom and hit Shift J to remove those triangles. And then we'll select this loop, maybe hit W smooth a couple of times, extrude to scale it in, pull it up, extrude to scale it in again, pull it up, and then we'll create a little bit of that bottom stem that you sometimes see on pumpkins. Extrude it one more time and hit W and merge as center. There we are. Okay, now I want to do one last thing, and that is simply to add a lattice to our pumpkin as well so that we can modify the general shape. And so we're going to hit spacebar, add, add lattice, and we'll scale it up and then scale it down along the Z axis so it just fits the pumpkin nicely. And let's increase the V level maybe to four and also the w to four as well and actually the u as well we want to do all of them okay and now we'll select our pumpkin add a lattice modifier and this time we're going to put in lattice 0 0.01 and then we can go in and just start working and one thing that's very handy here is to use a proportional editing so that you know we don't have to select lots of the lattice and so you know we'll just maybe add a little variety to our pumpkin here just make it a little less symmetrical add a little more character to it And you know, we then may need to go in and uh, modify the, the stem to fit, which we can do with the lattice. So we'll just select the whole bottom of the lattice, turn off the proportional editing, pull it down to fit, maybe pull down the rest of it. And so we can modify that as needed. Be sure not to move the actual stem object though um, since if we were to deselect these lattices, so we'll make it so that they don't show up for the time being, say 
uncheck the object mode, then they're still going to be in their original positions lined up. So just be sure that you're only working with the, the lattice versus the actual mesh object when working in object mode. And then if we don't want to see these, we can just select them and hit H to hide. And there we have it. We have a, a fairly decent pumpkin here. And, you know, maybe we could do a little more work if we wanted. Um, with some of the creases, maybe we would scale out on some of these, make them a little less pronounced. Which, since we added, we got rid of these faces here and merged those, we can very easily select these loops without a problem. Maybe we would rotate some of these along, add a little more thickness to some of them. You know, whatever we wanted to do to fix this. And having the cursor centered here, we can do these very, very easily. You know, rotating along the z-axis to, to scaling in and out. Very easy to go in and edit this with very little hassle whatsoever. And so there you have it. There is modeling a pumpkin in Blender using a mirror modifier, lattices, etc. to streamline the process. And the next step that we will follow up here shortly is going in and texturing this pumpkin and then we'll follow up with some more Halloween based tutorials and so I hope that you enjoyed this as always and again this is Jonathan Williamson from cgcookie.com